Welcome, welcome, my good friend Derek. Do I have something special for you today? This house, straight from the old country, Italia. The legend is Tony Soprano lived in this very house right here in Austin. Come check it out. This is the site of our biggest, baddest development project ever. This is the current house that's standing here. This will be torn down. Now, teardowns can be very interesting, but this house right here is by and large the best, most hilarious, unique, interesting teardown I've ever seen. I have to give you all a tour. Come check this out. So first thing, before we even enter, the pizza awning, the classic green pizza parlor awning. You already know there is a little flare of Italia on this house, but you haven't seen anything yet. Come inside. This foyer can only be bested by the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> Look at this chandelier and behold, the Sky Dome. Oh, in the name of the Padre, it is on the name We got the faux painted Monterey drag, gold leafed. Look at these decorative columns. Get a load of the crown molding around this place. All painted gold. I love gold. I mean, that is a literal sky with doves and you have some beautiful greenery just draping down in there. That is all custom painted. And let's just talk about this chandelier. I mean, this thing in a different setting is actually pretty damn beautiful. It's hilarious because it is just so shocking to walk into, but I promise you in the early 2000s, that cost a fortune. Get a load of this tile. This is all marble. And then look at this mosaic right here. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. I mean, I wonder if they imported this shit from Italy. Like, really? Wow. And then honestly, it's like after an entry like that, how do you top it? But like, you will see. You will see. Coming in here, mirrors everywhere. I bet they had these since the 80s. Probably a lot of booger sugar going on back then, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but of course, a matching little sister chandelier to the entry. And then if you look around, this is like a fun house. It's almost like an MC Escher painting. You got archways up there, kind of just going to nowhere. You got this massive ledge. Like, I don't even know, what do you do? You put like a couch up there? <laughs> Some giant uh, vases, but come on in. You know, the theme of the arches continues. Go over there, I want to show you something. It's Fidu Movido, the Fidu Revido, it's Fidu Rovido, it's Fidu Revido. The acoustics are unmatched. I am inside right now on a Juliet balcony from the kitchen overlooking not one, but two different living rooms. Look at how insane this is. I feel like I'm in Vegas. I really do, I feel like I'm in the Venetian. I mean, think about this. Kids, dinner's ready! They could hear you from anywhere. It actually feels like one of those like, super uh, like American chain Italian restaurants where like, they want the place to look like Italy so bad. And then you got, you know, the split level. Like, what do you do there? Table and chairs? I mean, what a strange area. And this is huge. I mean, this is over 20 feet tall. Absolutely absurd. Come up here and check out the kitchen. Honestly, what blows my mind is how much just enormous wasted space there is. Like, there's that place down there. You have that huge ledge over here. I mean, this is just huge. What is this? It's like a desk area, dining room. You have like basically a kitchen's worth of cabinetry here, and then this tiny island. Hilarious, look at the shape. Wow, they got like some curves on this. 
an extra sink. But if only I knew where the pantry was. Huh. Where would I put my pantry if I lived here? See, they just didn't think that out. Okay, so all of this space in the foreground, and now you come into this tiny alcove for the actual kitchen area. Completely bonkers. What is this? Come over here. Look up in that hole there. That's a winch. Oh my God. This is an elevator shaft. Look at it, it's all tiled. Holy crap. I guess the elevator's down below. Whoa, what runs the power is one of these like garage style extension cords that you can pull in and pull out and it retracts. That is a first. I mean, to have an elevator in your house, that's pretty awesome. To have a homemade elevator, this is incredible. This is Inspector Gadget we're looking at right here. This is insane. MacGyver must have owned this house. Well, we're gonna go down and check out that elevator later. That is just rich. Why don't you take a gander out that window? Just paradise out there. Look at how huge the yard is too. This is in downtown Austin. And we got the pool already. I've been swimming in that all summer. I'm not gonna lie. This place is like a lighting show from the 90s. You got chandeliers next to ceiling fans. I've never seen a ceiling fan inside of a skylight. So look at that. They just put a two by four up there and they just hung that fan. That is just amazing. You have little arches that go to nowhere. Very strange. And my God, look at the paint. This is a color that can only be described as gold. Oh God, that's terrifying. That looks like where dolls that come alive will sit and hang out. <gasps> Holy <sighs> Dude, like a kid could get so hurt in that. <laughs> oh, I see what this is for now that I'm up here. Ma! Meatloaf! <laughs> now come check out the master bedroom. Again, this is a giant space that is the weirdest shaped master I've ever seen. I mean, this alone would be a good size, but then you got this, which is like a sitting room. You fucking crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? But it makes no sense. How would you put furniture here? You got ran two random closets, three random closets. Wow, look at this. This is silk. This is pure luxury. You gotta love it the master bath. Another beautiful archway that's not very tall. Wow! Now they just went crazy. Same kind of yellow, but they just trough all this stuff, just drywall mud, and then just drag it. It's called a Monterey drag, but this is like a freaking Salcedo drag, if you ask me. Maybe a little pepperoni drag. Wow, you got like the bondage pendants. Look at these framed mirrors. Oh my gosh, a tiny shower, all for Micah. And hallelujah, would you look at this? This is a Roman bath. You got niches and shelves, one, two, three. Look at that little mirror right there. These are kind of cool. And <laughs> look, they just have like the commode closet, completely open <laughs> with a pendant hanging right over the shaft. That is beautiful. Wow. Honestly, like, I love it. Not gonna lie. It's so cheesy, but like, this needs to be made into a museum. This will probably be the saddest house that I have to tear down. So the other thing, this house is like 4,500 square feet. That was one bedroom. Let's see how many, what, what the count is for the rest. Look at that. Chandelier right next to two fans. This is literally a Lowe's lighting showroom from 98. I thought those were maybe stickers. This is hand done. Wow. This is amazing. So they literally took a trowel, 
with a combed edge and they made all of this before they painted and then they painted these different colors. Look at all this swirl though. And then look at the bigger pattern of like this crazy kind of funky star shape around all this. And then you got those flower looking patterns around each of the lights and chandelier. Like multiple people were like, yep, that's great. And you're just like, what? <laughs> Let's call this the bar. A full bar. This is amazing. Look, you even got the foot rail, Christmas lights, spicing up the whole thing. You got more rope lights. This gives me a kind of a bit of a creepy vibe here. Looks like some shady stuff. This is where the mob hangs out. I bet so many people have been whacked right in this very room. But dude, get a load of this. Oh, look at that. This is carpet. This is literal carpet. There's padding in the wall. Maybe, hear me out, this was the dance floor. <laughs> this is a work of art. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Like there was a lot of thought and effort and obviously it looks like they were doing a lot of this stuff themselves. I mean, my hat goes off to them. I hope they had great memories here. It's just like, it's a look right into history and it's, it's absolutely incredible. What is that? Look at this. That's a camera, bro. I'm telling you, man, some shady stuff went down here. This could be a mafia stronghold. The elevator. <laughs> oh my God. Get a load of this thing. Look, we got a light? Dude, I'm telling you, this guy is the Italian MacGyver. I'm not going any higher than that. <laughs> Bro, that just worked. That is amazing. Check this out, we're kind of entering into a different zone here. You got wood flooring, nailed to the top of this barrel ceiling. Wood flooring on this door. Whoa, this feels like a fun house. All right, <laughs> I'm seeing a kind of an iridescent purple light through here. This might be where our wine room is. Bingo! <laughs> Look at those lights. Oh my God, the lit up grapes. Those are Pinot Noir grapes. These people were freaking geniuses. Oh my God, is that a golden swan faucet? Oh my God, look, they're swan heads. No way. And then you got the big, these are the baby swans. You got the wings on there? This is solid gold. They love their gold. Gold. Ooh, fancy. We got a bidet and a toilet. All the gold fixtures. What was going on here? Again, they just love closing in. Like doorways are just like the most valuable thing to the freaking 90s and 2000s. There's so much more ceiling height in here. It smells so bad. <laughs> now we've come through the back door of the unknown. So this is bedroom number two. After all of that house, we're only on the second bedroom. What? Oh my God. Hello. What? This is a glitch in the matrix. What was going on here? There's dead bodies in that wall. They're encased in concrete. Okay, now we finally got into the third bedroom. 4,500 square feet, three bedrooms. Wake up, brush your teeth without ever leaving your room. 
They should have just put a toilet in here. Two ceiling fans. Bro, the ratio of ceiling fans to house is the highest I've ever seen. This guy must have been in the lighting business. And he just wants to show it off. Now we got a giant bathroom. For what reason? This is probably the nicest shower in the house. Would you look at this? Maybe he owned a tile showroom too. There's like eight different tiles in here. Two shower heads that are both different. That's interesting. I mean, this is, look at that. <laughs> this is a foot wash. Foot wash. And then not one, not two, three benches. This is amazing. This is amazing. Three benches. This is definitely a home built edition. Look at these stairs. This whole thing is slanting. <laughs> it doesn't match any part of the house. They definitely just threw this on at the end. Look at that ceiling fan just fell out of the <laughs> Oh my God. Dude, look at this. The jailhouse TV up in the corner. Wow. Dude, I'll tell you what, there was probably some freaking parties here. If these walls could talk, am I right? All right, come on outside. Oh my Lord. You got gazebos right in view. Look at that. There's a lamp post with four lamps on it. It goes through the gazebo. <laughs> this is awesome. The pool is still in great shape. We just had to shock it, flush the system. Good to go. Outdoor grill station. This is the outdoor kitchen. Dude, I am telling you, they built all of this, them and their family. And would you look at this, a three tiered four-tiered waterfall into the pool. All right, come on here, get a load of this view. Obviously huge yard. It cannot be an Italian villa without a bocce ball court. All of these lights, this is PVC. They made this out of plumbing parts. This looks like a salad bowl. All right, y'all, I hope you appreciated Casa Italia as much as I did. This is a gorgeous property. We're gonna be tearing that house down and doing our biggest, baddest development project ever. We're gonna be posting updates all along the way. You will not wanna miss out. Please like, comment, subscribe, interact. I love you all. I'll see you soon.